Hello, and welcome to Quick Charge by Electrek. I'm Mikey G, and it's Wednesday, August 3rd. Tesla has applied to patent a new multi-band GPS antenna that it believes will be more precise for self-driving and navigation applications. The automaker describes a new device proposing that it can produce a more precise antenna, which will reduce power demand, noise, and cost. The automaker also makes it clear that the GPS system wouldn't be only used for navigation, but also for self-driving applications. Tesla lists 10 inventors in the patent, Richard Brendan, George Zucker, and uh, Anand Kananur, Shreya Singh, Yatsu, Yasutaka Horiki, Aisan Erentok, Nagarjun Bat, Rui Moreira, Moreira, Auden Nabovati, and Rishab Bandari. Tesla has come up with a new version of its solar roof, version 3.5, and they're going to be testing it on employees' homes ahead of a wider launch. At Electric, we're not sure how wide that launch is going to be. The solar roof has gone through several iterations, most recently version 3 back in 2019. The company also added new solar tiles with more power and higher efficiency just last year. Deployment of these products would soon grind to a halt, and actually last month Tesla paused scheduling of solar roof installations in virtually all markets in the U.S. Now, sources familiar with the matter told Electrek that Tesla is working on solar roof version 3.5, starting with employees' homes for testing. If this goes well, Tesla is expected to introduce the new version of the solar roof when it restarts installations towards the end of the year. Tesla has finally started taking Model S and X orders in Europe again. The automaker shut down the Model S and X production in January of 2021 to update the two flagship vehicles. Europe has actually been starving for them ever since, coming up on two years. With the production ramp being slow, Tesla took a rare decision to stop taking orders outside North America. Tesla has started accepting orders in Europe, starting with the most expensive versions, the Plaid. Deliveries for the new orders are shown to start between December of 22 and February of 2023. For the Model X and S long range, Tesla has not yet reopened orders for those models, saying that they will be available sometime in 2023. Morgan Stanley released its July auto sales report for the U.S., and it shows that EV sales are up 59.8% compared to last year in an overall market that is down 8.2% year over year. According to the report, electric vehicles now take up 6.1% of the total market, a huge jump from last year compared to 3.5%. Tesla's share accounted for just 60.9% of the total electric vehicle market in the U.S., down 7.5% compared to last year. While Tesla's dominance might be shrinking, the percentage of the pie is getting much, much larger. Tesla's 42,813 estimated sales are about 1.6 times greater than the rest of the electric vehicle industry combined. Electrek got the chance to ride the Lucid Air Grand Touring Performance model from LA to San Francisco. Seven and a half hours of total driving, equating to roughly 460 miles. Since the vehicle has 440 miles of range or so, we did have to charge. You can check out the full experience on our site, but here's the takeaway. Rider Scooter Dahl writes, quote, Overall, I was impressed with the Lucid Air Grand Touring, and it feels like it lives up to the performance badge in its name. The performance specs themselves truly make this EV a thrill to drive, especially when you have such great scenery to your left as you venture north in California. I highly recommend it. My biggest issue was the software itself, which is probably the easiest to fix for Lucid Motors. I found the interior to be comfortable and luxurious, but a little plain. Miles ahead of the sterile and unwelcoming interior of any Tesla, but slightly more vacant than the Mercedes EQS 580. My family and I genuinely enjoyed our time with the EV, and I can say for certain we turned a lot of heads along the way. Toyota has sent a letter to BZ4X owners offering a choice between a loaner and incentive package or full repurchase of the electric vehicle as the company continues to struggle with literally keeping the wheels on their first electric car. Toyota announced the recall in late June, citing a potential for the new car to have its wheels fall off. The propulsion system seems pretty well intact, actually. 
It did apply to all BZ4Xs produced, and that's still a relatively small number, about 2,700. New owners are getting letters from Toyota Corporate detailing the specifics of what Toyota is offering in exchange for the trouble of the recall. It looks like it's not going terribly well. At one point, the letter states, quote, Alternatively, if you do not wish to proceed as described above, Toyota will offer to repurchase your vehicle. General Motors has announced a massive expansion to its Super Cruise hands-free driver's assistance network. Kind of a mouthful for what they call it. The expansion will double the size of the current Super Cruise network to over 400,000 miles of compatible roadways and will soon be available to over 20 GM models. Previously, the network was only mapped out against interstate highways, but it will now be available in many states and federal routes as well. In addition to the map expansion, GM is also adding functionality to most of its vehicles, particularly those built with the new VIP architecture. This includes EVs like the Cadillac Lyric, GMC Hummer EV, Chevy Silverado EV, Blazer EV, and more. I'm not sure what other vehicles will get this because that seems to be most of their electric portfolio at the moment. After a series of unfortunate events, Faraday Future has pushed back the release of their production model, the FF91. However, in recent news, it suggests that they may have found a short-term solution. This delay comes after a mass exodus of executives, including Faraday Future's CFO, CTO, and CEO, leaving within a few years. However, now the EV startup appears to have struck a deal with a major investor for a proposed convertible term loan. In an SCC report filed today, it shows an executed non-binding term sheet with several financial investors. The term sheet consists of potential convertible notes with a principal amount of up to $600 million. Although the agreement sounds exciting, it's still non-binding, meaning that there are no obligations at this point. In today's community comment found on YouTube, Sam Bale says, Love EVs. Thank you, Sam. I love EVs too, and welcome to the channel. Thanks for watching Quick Charge by Electrek. I'm Mikey G, and I hope you have a great day. In an SEC report filed today, the latest news shows an executive in the latest in an SEC report filed today, it shows an executive ex executed in an SEC in an SEC report filed today, it shows an executed executed non-binding executed non-binding term sheet with several financial investors in an SEC report filed today it shows an executed non-bind executed executed not executed executed in an SEC in an SEC report filed today it shows an ex executed <laughs> in an SEC report filed today it shows an ex executed <laughs> Non-binded shows an executed. Okay. In an SCC report filed today, it shows an executed non-binding term sheet with several financial.